All right, we're going to get a walk through here from uh, Jeremy. We'll talk a little about the equipment uh, for a moment for uh, just a second with me. Uh, what's the audio file? You're the audio file junkie. Audio file but, junkie. Yeah, whatever you want to call. Uh, so uh, this is MDL. I don't know if everyone's familiar with these products or not. Uh, this is our uh, principal product, which is called the 101 E Mark II. Uh, this is an omnidirectional loudspeaker. Uh, the drive units, this is the treater here, mid-range woofer. And then this model has a down firing woofer in the cabinet, so it's a four way loudspeaker. Um, the, what is unique about MDL, this tweeter concept was patented in 1979 and it's been evolving ever since. The tweeter, mid range, and woofer all work in the same principle. They're just different shapes and materials depending on the frequency range they're optimized for. So, for example, the tweeter has 20, 40, these little black segments. There's 24 individual segments of a unidirectional carbon material we've developed. Each segment of the membrane is independently affixed to the same voice coil at the bottom. The voice coil is facing up. The segments are fixed at the top. So the voice coil fires vertically, forcing these segments of membrane to bend all the way around in phase at the same time. So he's putting the same tone and pressure evenly distributed 360 degrees in the horizontal plane and there's also a 10 to 30 degree arcs, so it's putting sound up and down as well. So this allows you to have an enormous stable sound stage. Uh, you can notice around the room, everybody's having a good experience. You're not locked into this uh, equilateral triangle sweet spot as you would be with a conventional speaker. Uh, you also don't get fatigued uh, like you would with a conventional speaker sitting in this equilateral triangle. Um, so he's, uh, he's uh, basically merging the sound of the recording with the sound of your room. That's, uh, that's sort of the trick that the, uh, the MBL speaker is doing. Uh, we're also showing some legacy products from our reference line here. Uh, we have three levels of electronics, reference at the top, noble in the middle, cadenza is the entry level. These are our top line amplifiers called the 9011. Uh, they're class A up to 50 watts and they float to class AB up to 850 watts. Uh, they are 260 pounds each one. Have the herniated discs to prove it. <laughs> um, so they, uh, they are our top of line amplifier. Uh, and then we also have uh, from the reference line our top of line preamplifier called the 6010. Uh, that's this device down here. He's been in production for over 35 years. This was the first uh, electronic product from MBL. Um, and then we have our 1611 uh, D to A converter and our 1621 CD transport. This is a CD transport, old fashioned. Um, and then we are partnered with uh, United Home Audio who manufactures uh, these amazing tape uh, machines. And uh, Greg has also uh, been an MBL dealer for 25 years or something. Yeah, so we have a very uh, long standing relationship. And uh, I'll let Greg take over and talk a little bit about the deck and about how he uses his MBL system while he's voicing the tape decks. Jeremy always says I'm the oldest MBL dealer. I kind of, you know, <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> but uh, this is the Ultima 5. This is uh, the top of the line now of our Ultima uh, series. What we do is we take AC from the wall into this outboard power supply. We convert AC to DC, and the only thing in the box over here in is DC power. So you don't have a transformer in there aggravating your tape heads or any of that because it's, it's working magnetics and you don't want EMI in the middle of your tape head magnetics, don't want that. So the nice thing about this is this tape transport is it has all DC motors and it's very speed stable, extremely reliable. Gosh, I guess I've been doing high-end audio shows for 12 or 13 years, and boy, knock on wood, never had a failure. Everything works. So that's, uh, that's really good. Um, this unit here has some trickle-down technology from the UHA Super Deck. The Super Deck was an all-out assault on tape playback, you know, the best of everything possible. So basically I took some of the good pieces and parts 
that would fit in here because a lot of the pieces and parts in the super deck just are big and they won't fit you know appropriately but what i did was we used uh, the space age boards in the super deck they're hyper pure copper with real gold on the top real gold on the bottom and a um, ceramic dielectric they're certified for use in outer space but the good thing about them is they're real quiet they're real stable, they're real firm. So we use those boards in here and we also used a little bit of a trim down uh, gain stages in here and an EQ stage in here that would fit. And uh, luckily uh, we were able to figure that technology out and get it working. So, um, you know, the, the whole idea of a UHA tape deck is not to produce studio quality anything. It's not. These are audiophile quality decks. There's a huge difference between the two and uh, the idea was to provide a turnkey solution where somebody could just buy a deck, they get a two-year parts and labor warranty, and you press play, it always works. So I use these, I use the MBL system. I have this same system at my home. And before any UHA deck goes out, it has to go into my MBL system and, and be listened to. And if it passes my test, then it goes out to the customer. If it doesn't, then I tweak it and monkey with it but, <laughs> and get it to work. It. But the bottom line is what I want is a pleasurable experience. You sit down, you have a nice you know, a glass of wine or whatever you want to listen to music, you press play, always works and sounds good. So, yeah, much, appreciate that, many, many thanks to MBL because as you notice, it's a very high resolution system. It sounds very natural. Um, it sounds like the real deal. And that allows me to voice these things appropriately so that, you know, you can experience the same kind of thing I'm hearing when I listen to the MBL system with these decks in my home. We also have a customer that owns MBL 101s. Oh, we <laughs> I featured, yeah, not, we have the, a student, not that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but lots of tape content. Yes. So y'all appreciate that a deck like this yeah, can make I'm a difference. I'm thrilled with the MBLs. I have those speakers, they're fantastic. I love them. Yeah. Yeah. With hey. amplifiers. I actually had some custom made amplifiers. I, I didn't use the MBL amplifiers, but, uh, but yeah, they, they, they sound great. Any questions? Does anyone have any questions about anything? Or Jason, or we get back to some music? Like... Music is the best, yeah. Music is the best. <laughs> Tells the story more than anything. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you.